full in that Tadiyalis. Okay, the Gemara was discussing the Shiloh of what Rabbi Yehuda Shita was. Rabbi Yehuda said that um, to him it makes sense uh, that that uh, the Gidanosh is going to be the right leg, not both and not the left. It ma- makes sense it's the right. We're not sure whether he was saying he's Mesopic, really he's Mesopic, it's just um, it makes sense to him, or talk of the Das Torah is like that. So then we brought a Brysa which sounded like that the uh, had someone in the Gidim um, on Pesach, if, if um, and the Noyser, if it was left over on Pesach, you have to burn it on the 16th. After Pesach, you have to burn it, right? So he said, What are these Gidim? These Gidim either eat them, right? If they're Basar, eat them. If they're not Basar, throw them out. So one Shita was that it was Gidan Noshe. Rabbi Ashi says, No, Lenitzch Elo Lishmonoi. He says that the Pshat in this Brysa is not Gidan Noshe, because Gidan Noshe Avada. Um, you would throw out. And Avada, maybe Rabbi Yehuda is not Mesopic at all. He knows exactly what the Gidanosha is. The Gidanosha is the right one, and therefore that one you throw out and the other one you eat. Right? So what's the Gid that says that you have to burn like Noisar? <coughs> it means the, the fat that is adjacent to the Gidanosha. The fat that comes along with the Gidanosha, Avada Midoraisa has no din Gidanosha. You're allowed to eat it. But the Tanya, Right, it's shaman, right? And it's not even it's not considered part of the gid either. But still it's also because the Tanya Shmonoi Mutter really the fat of the Gidanosha is mutter of Yisrael Kdoshim Nagabaisar. But Yisrael Kdoshim Prushim, right? They were Nayak Isar as our Chaka from Gidanosha, just in case you might eat the Gidanosha, therefore they also not only did not eat Gidanosha, they also didn't eat the Shaman, the, the Shuman that comes along with it. So therefore Midaraisa you can't, uh, you can't eat it because we're not by Yisra, but you can't, um, you can't throw it out because because really the rice it's basar. You could eat it, so you can't just you can't just throw it out with the um, on on Pesach. You have to it becomes nicer. The rice really becomes nicer, and therefore you have to burn it on on the sixteenth of of Nisa. Okay, so um, Ravina Omar Ravina says a different tariff. There are two Gidim. Even within one leg, there are two Gidim. Pnimi Samuchlaitzem Asr. The inner one, which is closer to the bone, is Asr. Vichayav and Olive, and that's the actual Gidan Nasha. That's the one towards the inside of the animal. Right, it would be towards the udder over here in a cow. Right, it would be the inner one, and then and then that's Asr. And. Um, but the chitzin, which is some of the chitzin, which is closer not to the etzem, closer to the basar, that is aser ve'en chayav and olive. Again, this is going to be aser midrash banan, right? So, so, so it's really um, the way Rashi explains at least is that there's is that is that there's there's two there's two nerves, one of them going in towards the towards the in uh, the inside of the animal towards the internal part of the animal, one towards the out, outer part of the animal. Now the inner one is also midrash, so the outer one is only also midrash banan. And again, the same thing. Therefore, you can't eat it, but you, but, uh, but you can't throw it out, and it becomes nicer. The entrance. No, no. One of them is doraisa. So the doraisa one you could throw out, right? But um, but the one that we're discussing over here is this gid, the extra gid that we're machmer on, right? The one that is samuchlut basar. That it says asr ve'ein chayav and all of Now this one. This one, um, you can't, you can't, again, you can't eat it because we're machmer, right? But you can't just throw it out because it's basra, so therefore it becomes nicer in the rice. Um, is it only... No, no, it would be on, no, it, it, it would be on both feet. I think it, it sounds like that the sciatic nerve really uh, applies on both feet, just we hold it, it's only, we hold it, it's only on the right foot. I mean, we only reckon with the right foot, and then within the right foot also that there's 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 two ways to go, and then we go with the with the um, samuch la'etza, uh, with the samuch la'etza. Yeah. Rashi says it starts it starts all the way on top. The one that's also starts all the way at the top in the, the tailbone, and then from there it spreads. Um, to the thigh bone, 
and that's considered next to the bone. What do they what do they point to? Because this comes out over here, uh -huh. that would be called the outer one. This one is more inner towards the bussa. Uh -huh. yeah, talking about over here, we're talking about down here, maybe. Is this one also according to uh, Ashna, the Tangman, because it comes from the Asiatic, or is it. Because uh, ours is up there, our Hitzan. Our Hitzan is this. Right. Right here. Right. So is the Tangman one also according to us because it comes from the. Asiatic? I'm not sure. I don't know, you're saying, uh, you're saying that the mice, of, according to us, it's just an extension of the Gita Pnimi. Uh-huh, not sure. Okay. According to us, it's completely different than the same. It's like Yara. Right. And the money says, Right. And the money says, Right. And the money says, Right. And the says, that. The one that's pnimi, it's, it's clapped the air, it's inside. Oh, it means it's towards the inner part of the animal. Shebehemu um, mukhuber is currently pnimi. So when when the animal is still connected, everything everything is together still. So then in between, close to the other leg, I guess. Exactly, it's facing, it's connected to the other leg. That's called pnimi. And and, and the chitzon is Rashi says it's a gid kotzar, it's a short gid. And also in the roich of ashufi b'seifei. I would say it sounds like the Temani one, I guess. Well, at least the way Rashi says it. Okay. They say the two sheep is fine. Um, Okay, so that would be Pshan the Brisa. Pshan the Brisa would be um, that we're talking about this second kid that we're machmer on. Midaraisa is nicer, therefore you can't throw it out. But Midarabon, you don't need it. Okay, Toshima. Another proof to say whether Rabbi Yudah holds. What Rabbi Yudah holds? Does he hold that the Taka. Um, Midinvada, uh, it's the right one, or it's still, he's still Mosef Toshima. Achal Mizekazai, Mizekazai, Saifik Shman. If you ate from the right or the left, from this or this, because I say fix shmeinim. This is the chacham who holds you chayev. Uh, I'm sorry, if you ate from right and left, both. So then you chayev shmeinim because they're both good enough. Shabbat shalom. Only chayev forty. Only one is chayev. Only one is chayev. Yeah, shalom. I'm just trying to lay. If it's pasha to him that it's the right one, it's a You chayev for the right one forty. Eliyam and tzvukim misafkale. If you hold the stum misupuk, have a asra safik. So then it's asra safik. He shouldn't be chayv anything because because when we give him asura on the right one or on the left one, since we're misupik, right? Each asura doesn't work because you can't necessarily be mechayv him for that asura. Uh, and we we shamin lay the Rabbi Yehuda. We know that we have heard already that Rabbi Yehuda holds the Omar asura safik leish masra. It's not not it's not a good warning. Tanya hikas zeh the Bryce that says that if someone is a kid is in Suffolk, not sure who his father is, right? Because his mother got married too quickly in between the in, in between two husbands, and he's not sure if the, if when she got pregnant, he's a, he's a seven month baby from the from the first from the second one or a nine month baby from the first one, right? So he's not sure who his father is. Now he has both his fathers in front of him, and he hits he hits them. So he's going to be over. Um, Right, so, so he's going to be over that. But we, again, we don't know which one it is. So hikas zev chazav hikas. If you did both of them, first this one and that one, kila zev. If or if you curse, isha yikalela savivasim. Right, another is kila zev chazav kila zev. Or hikas shneim vasachas. Or if you did them exactly at the same time, or ishikila shneim vasachas chayiv. So this is the Tanakam who holds this chayiv. You don't remember? No, vasachas chayiv. If you did them together, you're chayiv because it's one asra. Right. But bzachar ze potter why? Because you have to do them. If it's bzachar ze, that means it's two asras. Two asras. Each one is asras. So you see, Rebbe Yudah is asras of Gleish Masra. So the more high tana, so like Yudah Tana, Rebbe Yehuda. This our tana 
holds like the alternate opinion of what Rabbi Huda holds. The Omar, because he says, Asra Safik Shema Asra. Um, so therefore, meaning, don't bring me a riot from here. We can't, you can't bring me a riot from here, because really he holds Asra Safik Shema Asra, and therefore you're chayev for whichever one. You give Asra for the first gid that he eats, and then you give Asra for the second gid that he eats, and then whichever one it was, he's chayev, even though each Asra isn't definite, doesn't make a difference. Asra Safik Shema Asra. Now how do we know, where do we see the Rehudo? That, that there is an alternative view as to what Rabbi Yudah holds. This is talking about noiser, like we had just before, right? You, you're not allowed to leave Basar Kachim uh, over. Bar Kosuv, liten asay achar loisasay. The Pasuk is coming to give a mitzvah asay after the loisasay. Why? Because after it says loisasay, don't leave it over, ad boiker, but han noisar mimenu, ad boiker, boish tisroifu, you have to burn it. Right, so you see that there's an assay after the lace assay, loy masha ain't like another. And therefore it's coming to tell you that because you could fix this, because this is a fixable, it's like a lava nitakla assay, it's a fixable love, therefore you're not gonna get lash, you're not gonna get malchus. This is divrei of Yehuda. Rabbi Yaakov Loyman Hashem was that no, that's not the reason. This this is not the the descriptive reason as to why you don't get the lav elamishum to have a lav she'en by maisa. The reason is is because when when I'm transgressing this lav I didn't do anything active. Uh, it was an inactive transgression, just not eating it. I just left it over. Leaving over is inactive. Lav she'en by mice. We call lav she'en by mice. And like in the love of Rabbi Yaakov says, that's why you're not like a love. Either way, Rabbi Yehuda holds that the only reason why you're potter is because it's a lava nita class A. Um, the problem being with that is, what do you mean it's a lava nita class A? But if it was a nita class A, you would be chayav. How could you give us wrong such a thing? Right? He's going to give us right. He's like, if you don't eat it within an hour, you're going to be over. But you don't know if he's going to eat it or not. That means your is, is is doubtful. Meaning when you tell him, you're going to get malchus if you don't eat it, right? Do we know that that uh, that he's not going to eat it or not? So that's called Asra Safik also. Okay. Um, it has to be that when you give the Asra, you know that, that, that he's going to be over. Okay. So either way, we see Rabbi Yudahol, that's Rasa Fik Shema Asra. Okay. Toshima. Ochal Beis Gidin Mi Beis Yerech. It's another bride, so it says, if a person eats two Gidin from two different thighs, Mi Beis Behemus from two different Behemus. Then Saifik Pei, Yerchaev 80. This is the Chachamit. Yerchaev 80, meaning two, twice. Rabbi Yudahol, and a Saifik Elarba, I'm only 40. The right one of both, so we don't know which one. Oh, so yeah, so so the Gemara's good says that it's the right one of both. Why do you have to say from two separate animals? It must be Pit de Tarvayli Sura. Must be they're both Asr, meaning they're both um, they're both the right one. Meaning if you're talking about the right and the left, right, so why do you have to say two behemoths to say within one behemoth, right? So it must be we mean both of them are are, are Isr, both of them are the one the right one. Right? So therefore, Rabbi Yehuda Itzrich, and, and we need this to teach us, according to Chacham, it's Pashat, obviously Yechayv, Yechayv 40, right? Yechayv 80, right? What's the purpose here? It's Rabbi Yehuda Itzrich. The reason is to teach us in Rabbi Yehuda's Shita, Shema Mino, that Mifshat Pshitala, must be, he holds that it's Pashat, that you're Chayv on the right one. Meaning he's not Mesupik, meaning, so therefore you could be Chayv 40. Says the Gemara, Vipshitala, but if it's Pashat to him that, that uh, if you eat the right Gita Nasha, then you're chayev. So then I'm Isaac Mem with two loy. Why are you only forty? Right? And and not more. Lil kipe, you should be like a eighty lashes. Yeah, you took it then nushes. Why is this my skin going to less be kazayas? No. What's going on over here is that in the second gid there was no kazayas. Um Zitanya. Um oh the Chacham, we're gonna see we're gonna see this mock like it's right here. The Ochloi Vein Ba Kazayas Chayev. According to Chacham, if you ate it and there's no kazayas, then you're chayev. I guess the chayach for, for the Gid Anasha to be complete without it being uh, the size of a kazai. It's, it's very thin if it's very uh, small. And because it's a barrier, you're chayav in the whole thing. Just like if you eat a bug, it's less than a Because it's a barrier, it's a complete, it's a complete bria, you're chayav. So to over here, because it's a complete bria, the, the Gid Anasha is considered one complete aver. Therefore, if you eat it, even it's not a kazai, you're chayav. This is the chacham shita. And that's why they hold your chayav 80. Meaning, let's say the first one was a kazai. The second one you ate was not a kazais, but it was a complete gidan nashas. So according to Chacham, you're chayev for two. But according to Rabbi Yehuda, he holds no. Rabbi Yehuda, you're a kazais. It has to actually have a kazais. Okay, so this is um, 
So, so Mamela, according to Behuda, only have one because there was only one Kazai of Gidan Asha. The second one was a Beria, but it wasn't a Kazai, so Behuda all dear Potter. Therefore, only Chayev four. The time of Mai says the more. What's the reasoning of Rabbi Yehuda who says Das Torah? Right, he said the Das Torah is that 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 uh, it applies to the right one, right? That the right the right leg has the Gidan Asha. Amar Rav Amar Kra Yerech Ham Yemenes Shabayer. The pasuk says Asher Al Kaf Hayorech. Right, Al Kinle Yechulub Ben Yisrael Tzidin Anashe Asher Al Kaf Hayorech. So Hayorech, what's the Hey? It's Ham Yemenes Shabayer, the right one, meaning the more Chashiv one, the um, the more dominant one. Rabbanan Ahuda Pashit Isurei Bikulei Yerech. He says no. The Rabbanan say um, the, the extra Hey is not going to teach you that it's right. Rabbanan hold it applies to the right and the left leg. So what's Hayorech? Now this is now who the pashat isurei bikula yerech. That is is telling us that um, the gid that we're discussing is the one that spreads throughout the entire thigh. La fukichitu in the loy, meaning and this teaches us that that like we said before that the gid that's us is the gid apnimi because the gid achitzayin doesn't like we saw in the pictures doesn't spread throughout either it's only on the bottom or it's only on the top. That gid achitzayin doesn't spread throughout the entire yerech, so it's not ha yerech. According to Chacham, it means it's the gid, it's the actual nerve that spreads throughout the entire leg, and that has to be the pnimi because the chitzayin actually doesn't do that. Okay, so this is how the Chachamim learn that we're only talking about the gid pnimi. Um, he says his own reasoning as to how we know that Yehuda, how Yehuda knows it's the right one. It says um, um, what's the pasuk? When the Malach, when the Malach hit him, when the Malach, when he was fighting with the Malach, his his uh, his yerach got dislocated. Right. So what's behayov koyimay? Kadam shechay v'gas chaveray. When you wrestle with someone, it's like you, it's like you're holding him tightly. The other magas lekafi min shechaveray. So your right hand gets to the gets to the. Um, the, the, the right side, his right side, because you go all the way around. And therefore, um, and therefore, it's the right side. I mean, the Malach was fighting with Yaakov, and he hit the right leg of Yaakov because he went all the way around. Like a person who wrestles, who, who hugs, who hugs someone, his right is connect, is in, in the back of the other person's right. And therefore, because, because, um, because the, the leg that Yaakov limped on, is what is the reason why we don't keep Gidanasha, so we go by whichever leg it was by Yaakov, and his his right leg was hurt, so so too the right Gidanasha is going to be also. Okay. Um, now, he says that this Malach, the Malach that fought with Yaakov, um, uh, appeared to appeared to um, Yaakov like a non Jew, like in, like a, like in, like a Avi Zara. Why? The Amar Mar, and, and what's that going to help us? How's that going to help us? The Amar Mar, Yisrael shenitfa loy over kichav maderech. Yisrael, who he's, he's traveling alone, right? He's traveling all of a sudden, a guy, a guy is there, right? So what do you do? He doesn't want to hang out with him. He's scared of him, right? He's not sure what he's going to do to him. But you know, all of a sudden, he finds himself on the road with a non-Jew. What does he do? Toif loy liyamina. So you should sort of try to get him to go to the right. Meaning, you go, to, you you you're on the left, and that you you sort of trying to. Um, to make him tafel, tafel means uh, in, in, uh, like uh, unimportant, right? But you're supposed to like uh, move him, move him to the side, like to make him unimportant to you, right? Just like moving him to the side. But he, but to which direction? He should be on your right, right? So, 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 um, why, why is this true? So Rashi explains because because you want because your right hand is strong. If he starts a fight, if he starts up with you, right? He, you should have your right hand ready, right here, to be able to. To, to hit to defend yourself, right? So, so the same thing Yaakov Avinu did because this Malach was appeared to him as a, as a non-Jew and he was scared of him, right? Like an Ovid Kachavim. So therefore, um, the Malach was on his right side. He he was Teiflei the Yamin, right? And therefore, when the Malach hit him, he hit him on the right side because that was the side facing the non-Jew, facing the Malach. Right, right. The opposite. There's no Avkoi, right? I mean, even though Avkoi means wrestle, right? But it wasn't in the same direction that he went all the way around. Adra, but he just hit him like this, and 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 hit him on the right side. Okay. If Shmuel Bar Acha, 
the Kamei Dara Popa Mishmei Dara Popa Ula Amar Ki Talmud Chochem Nid Vulei That No, the opposite. He thought he looked at him like a Talmud Chochem. There's a din that when you when you walk with Talmud Chochem, the Amar Mor Hamahalich Liyamin Rabbi. Um, if you go to the right of your Rebbe, I raise a bur. If you're walking with your Rebbe with Talmud Chochem, you have to be you have to let him go on the right because the one who's more Chashiv is on the right, and you're on the left. But so if you go Liyamin, but if you're on the right, then you're a bur. You're an Am, like you're an Amaritz. You're you're a Dimwit. Rabbanon. Um, um, oh no! So that's so that's his sheet again. So therefore, the, the malach was nid meleket ham tchachem, and therefore he let the malach go on the right. And the when the malach hit him, he hit him on the uh, right, he hit him on his right, because the malach was on on the right side, and 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 um, and Yaakov's right leg was closer to the malach, right? Because if I'm on the left, he's on the right, so my my right foot is closer to him. Okay, and the Rabbanon, the Rabbanon will hold, know that it's naig by both of them, uh, by both gid, by both legs. He holds me achayri also. The malach came from behind, v'nashi b'tervayu, and he hit him in both of them, and so therefore he limped in both legs. Okay. Rabbanon hai be'aheov v'koi imoi mai darshivei. What do they use the heov koi to mean? Um, right, if you can't use it, I guess all the other chachamim also, right? Who don't use the heov koi as as uh, to, to, to teach us that it was taka around and that's why it's the right one. Um, the other statement from Shem Levi, the Hei Ovkoi is a Lashon of Avak, right? So what's the Lashon of Avak? This teaches us that they raised dust from their legs all the way at Kisei Yaakov. See Vacha the Hei Bios, it says Hei Ovkoi Imoi. As a description of the Merkav of Hakadosh Baruch Hu, um, it says that that um, Hashem's feet are like a, are, are in, a, in a cloud of dust, like in the, in the heavens, right? Like a cloud, right? So it's a cloud of dust. So you see this Hakadosh in Avak. Um, so you see that the fight went all the way up to Kisei Um Okay. The Amr Bishop and Levi. Uh, I mean, what does it mean that it went all the way to Kisakov? I guess Hashem knew, Hashem noticed it, or is coming from Hashem? I'm not sure. Um, the Amr Bishop and Levi. The what? No, it's done. Amr Bishop and Levi. Let me request my Gid Anasha. What's why is it called Gid Anasha? She Nasha mi mekoyim ve Allah. Nasha means Rashi's kafat. It jumped out of place. Bechen Oimer Nashta Gvura Sam Hayula Nashi. So too when it, when it discusses. The fact that um, that people got weaker, Kali um, I, I, Yisrael got weaker, so it says Nashta Givurasim. Their strength uh, was dislocated, was what right jumped jumped out of place, and therefore Hayul Nashim They were like women who, who were weaker. Avra Beis Rachanina might exceed the Vor Shalach Hashem BeYakov in Nofal LeYisrael. Nofal BeYisrael. Pasuk Nishaya. What does this mean? Dovar Shalach BeYakov Zegid Hanosha. Right, meaning the thing that he threw, it, that he that he sent to Yaakov was the limp in the Gidanasha, right? And then Nafal the Yisrael. The next part of the pasuk is saying Shepashat Isurim B'Chol Yisrael. Meaning we see something. As the pasuk sounds like something happened to Yaakov, and the Mela something happened to Gantzakal Yisrael. Right. So what happened to Yaakov that caused something to happen to Gantzakal Yisrael? So that's the Gidanasha. He was in the Gidanasha, and that caused the Isur Gantzakal Yisrael. What is it uh, when when Yosef tells uh, tells his mishares, oh shecht shecht food so that the people yechalu yitibat so that they'll eat they'll eat with us right? So he wanted to shecht it. Um, what he meant was kralan beis hashchita. Toich teva. That's one. Oh, show them, show them, reveal to them the base of to the place where the animal was shechted, so that you could see that it was shechted. The Ochein is told Gidanasha with name, take away the Gidanasha from in front of them, right? Uh, meaning, no, take it away in front of them and show them, oh, I'm removing the Gidanasha. So this is Yosef and his brothers back in the time, right? Matt and Torah already being Makman and Shechit and Gidanasha, and this is what we see from the Pasuk. Um, what is this? This is Kimanda Omar Gidanasha Nesel of Bnei Noe. At this point, Kimanda Omar, we, we, we mentioned yesterday, is Machlikis whether Bnei Yaakov actually kept Gidanasha or not. See, so over here, obviously, they did keep it because, um, um, because, um, he's Makman Gidanasha, Masudim Makbilani. 
Right, so this asks, what do you mean? I shkita, shkita definitely wasn't talking about the Torah, what's going on? Right, it says in the Makran Shkita also. So Rashi explains, um, uh, so Tais explains that uh, it doesn't mean real Shkita, it means it means the hero, because even, right, because it, it was not allowed to be Eber Menachai. Even Bnei Noyach are also Eber Menachai, and therefore the Shkita was showing that we killed it before, we did the hero before, um, not that they were actually Makran Shkita. Okay, just to make sure it's not Eber Menachai. Vayvoser Yaakov's no Shkita. But the, I mean, Hazal said that they were Makbid and called Tarkula before, right? But then, but then, then it wouldn't be a riot to get Danasha either. I heard the more wants to know whether whether really it was like a binding law for them, not Stam because they were Makbid and called Tarkula. Um, whether they were actually Noyig, no, uh, actually Noyig Isser. So you see from here the actual Noyig Isser get Danasha, but by Shrita, if they voluntarily wanted to keep Shrita, that was their own business. The fact. Right, we don't see from here that they actually w- was noyeg in them in, in, in a legal sense. Fine. Why, why, why was he alone? Because he went back um, for small jugs. Over here we see that for tzaddikim that their money is more beloved to them, yes, and more than the actual body. Why? Because they don't uh, extend their hands in, in, in robbery. And they don't steal. Since they don't steal, so um, so money, they're not going to just be able to get money whenever they want because they don't steal. So therefore, they care about even small things. Okay, stop here. Okay, so state the bottom, on the bottom, the bottom of Tzadi Aleph and Aleph. Um, what is that? What do we learn? Amar Rabbi Yitzchok, Mikan from here, Mitzvah Tamachom, Shulay Yitzchok, Yichidi Bulayla Tamachom, should not go out alone at night. Because you see what happened. He ended up in a fight with the Malach. He's dangerous. And if he went out with somebody? Well, then maybe uh, the Malach would not attack him. But he had two, two can be his Huh? Maybe two, two can beat, uh, two can beat up a Malach. Maybe there's only one on one. Goes so. for backup. I don't know. See, the Malachi does a goal for backup. Yeah, but I guess uh, for protection. Um, Rashi uh, Tosis points out that it's Dafka Tamei Chachamim because uh, because they they need Shmir more than other people. The Mazikim uh, are jealous of them. Okay, and some uh, regarding other things that could be even regular people shouldn't go at night. Okay, either way, it says over here the Gemara says Tamei Chachamim La Itzi Chidi Balayla. It's dangerous. Rabbi Abba Bar Rakana Amar Meyachri learns from here. He knew who Zayres Ger and Asoirim. This is by Nomi. Nomi told Rus that you can catch Bayaz by the field. He's he's uh, he's doing Zayra by the Soirim, right? Uh, and she knew that because it was late already, he's going to stay there the whole night because he's not going to go alone. And that's the idea that we see from here that uh, Bayaz was not going to use Tam Pacham. He wasn't going to go out at night alone. And, and Nomi knew this, and therefore she told him, "You'll catch him there." Okay, um, it says um, when, ya- when Avram went to the Akeda, but he went in the biker. He didn't go before the biker, right? But the earliest time he was able to go was in the morning. Rashi says even though he took people with him, still he only wanted to go in the morning because he sees it's dangerous to go at night. Taisa says no. What do you mean? He had people with him, so he could have gone at night also, right? So Taisa says no. It's talking about a different Vayashkim Avram Baboiker. He changes the gears a little bit. When Avram went to Daven for Sedaim, over there Davka Baboiker. Before Baboiker didn't want to go out because he was Yichid. Either way, okay, we see from here. Again, you're not allowed to go out Yichid. Rabbanon Amar Mihacha Lechno Re'e Shalem Achecha Shalem Atzayin. When Yaakov tells Yosef to go find his his brothers in Shechem, he says Lechno Re'e. It sounds like Re'e was during the day. Re'e always means you can see, right? It must be with the sh- right. but Dafka, because you could see Dafka was during the day, that's why Yosef should go alone. Right? And, and, um, but uh, if it was at night, he wouldn't have sent him. Okay. Rav Omar Mihachov, Yisrach Hashemesh, that it says by Yaakov himself that he, that, uh, that after he got involved in the fight, so then he didn't travel more until the sun came up. Right? So you see that Yaakov himself decided that I'm not going to go out at night again alone until, until uh, daytime. Okay. I asked her to begin with Yeshua. But Itlis shall imum in the shuk of uh, Rashi says Itlis is a, is a meat is a meat market of imum. Shahol chulikach behema they want to buy behema the mishte benoi shal Rabban Gamliel to the to the party of the son I guess a wedding of Rabban Gamliel's son. Ksiv it says vaizrach loy hashemesh. It says by Yaakov you know that the the son of 
rose for him. What do you mean the rose for him? Was it only for him that the sun rose? Was the whole world got the sun? What do you mean after for him it rose? Amar Yitzchak, Shem Shabba Avurai, the the sun that Ba that set for him, Zarcha Avurai, it it uh, rose for him also, meaning specifically the sun set for him. Uh, we'll see we'll see that. So to now it, it caught up with the fact that it rose a little earlier. Dixiv, how do we know that the that the sun set for him? Dixiv, it says when he left his parents asked to go towards Lavan, right? So. Um, he went from Be'er Shava and sounds like Vayel Charona. Rashi says it sounds like he got the Chora, right? But then it says Uksiv Vayifga B'Mokam, which is the base of English, right? Vayifga B'Mokam, but then that means that uh, he went backwards, right? The Gemara says Kimato L'Charon and he got the Chora. Amar Efsher Avarti Al Mokam Shispalo. It could be that I passed over the place where my father's Davin Vani Loi Spal Alti. So, so Kadyoiv Daitel Mido when he as soon as he put his mind to going back, Kafzalei Ara he had Kvitsa Saderich the the, the land jumped him miyad right away Vayif Kama Mokum so he so he um he like hit the, he hit that's Vayif Kama Mokum because he hit it quickly Vayif Kama okay so Katzoli when he um when he davened Boy Lemehedar after he davened already so he davened in the place of the base of Megdash he goes but now he's like okay I'll go back to Chor and Amar Kadosh Baruch Hu Hashem says Tzadik Zebol the base Maloni Tzadik this Tzadik comes to my hotel comes to my place my my place of dwelling the Potter Beloy Lina and he's gonna leave without even staying the night Miad Ba Hashem is Mela so 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 Hashem made the sun set right so it was it set prematurely so now so now by us right by us by Yisrachloy Hashem so sort of because of him and because of him it caught up to regular. At that point, it was dafka for him because it dafka set for him. Okay. It says he took me'avne. Avne ha'makam sounds like there were many stones there. Then he took, at the end, he t- takes the evan and he made it to Matseva. What is this? Uh, how do we reconcile this? All the stones came together uh, to one place, and that's why it's called evan. And each one said, each one wanted the source of having uh, Yaakov's head rest on on the stone on it on on itself. Tano and Tano says the They even became not just they just all come together. They even got swallowed into one stone, and uh, that's the magic Rashi brings right. So that's why it says at the end Okay, How how wide was the sulam? Shmoyna Sulam and Parsa is eight thousand parcel. So parcel is a is a measurement. It's 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 a Roman league. It's like 2.2 kilometers. It's very it's very big. So 8,000 parsos. Uh, that's the width. That's the width of the sulam, right? I guess the length was from the from the from the earth to the heaven, right? So that's. So this must be an exaggeration, right? Right. Also, it was a dream. So it was a dream. It was an, it was a vision, right? It wasn't necessarily an actual ladder. So I don't know if it uh, you know we have to say that it's not literal. Whatever it is. Okay. Well, how do we know that it was 8,000 parasols? Because it says that the Malachi Hashem were going up and going down. Oilim Shnaim, the Yardim Shnaim. Two going up. Oilim is plural. The Yardim is plural, right? So that means that there were two, there was room for two to go up and two to go down at the same time. That means it was the width of four Malachim. The Chipagu Badadadi. And then when you put them together, um, right, when if, if, if they're both going up and down at the same time, right, so then it's going to be four right next to each other. Havalei Arbo. And it says regarding a malach, a pasuk in Daniel, in Daniel's vision, he says in his body, the malach's body is kitarshish, like tarshish. Now tarshish, it could mean a type of stone, right? But over here, over here, um, it means the the sea of tarshish. Uh huh. Okay, the sea of tarshish. Or tarshish is the land. Okay. Oh, okay. Either way, right? Rashi says yam shishim tarshish. Okay. Uh, now, how big is the is the yam of tarshish? The Tarshish tray alfi parsi have it's two thousand parsos, right? So the mimela each each the body of each malach is two thousand parsos times four is eight thousand. Okay. Tano oilin umistakun b'dukne shul malo. They went up and looked at Yaakov's Yaakov's image up above. What was Yaakov's image up above? Because on the kisya the fourth the fourth um, face was Yaakov. The dmus adam was Yaakov avinu. So they saw. They saw, they, they looked it up and they went down and compared, oh, it's the same person. Right? Up on the Kisya Yaakov, there's Dmus Yaakov, and now also on the bottom. They saw, so, Oilinu Mistaklam B'dukin Shomala, they went up and saw it on top. The Yordin Mistaklam B'dukin Shomala, and they saw his, his, uh, his face downstairs. Um, and therefore, they got jealous. So, Bo Liskuni, they want to endanger him. So, Miyad Vinashem Nitzavolo. 
right away Hashem came to protect him. He came to hover over him. Amr Rabbi Shimon Melakish, Rabbi Shimon says, in Moli Mikro Kazov, if not for the fact that Pasuk said it, you have Shalom, you can't say such a thing. Like Adam Shemene Fabnoid, it's like a man who just, who, you know, who, who waves, uh, Rashi says, who, who waves, makes makes wind for his kid when he's when he's uh, suffering from heat stroke, right? Basically, just a father protecting his kid. And Akash Baruch, it's like giving anthropomorphic, making Hashem, like, Gashmas, Gashmas, right? So he says, if not for the Pasuk, we wouldn't be able to say this on our own. Okay. Um, Hashem says, oh, the land you're sleeping on, you're going to get. He's sleeping on, 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 on Dalaramas, right? Well, you, you can give him Dalaramas, what does this mean? Hashem folded up the entire under Avinu, and he put it under Yaakov Avinu, and why should they know it symbolized that that it's going to be easy for his kids to capture, just like Daladamas. Just like it's all nothing, it's all like Daladamas, it's going to be easy. Right, Adli Yamazer were trying to make these. Okay, so now the Malach, back to the Malach who fought with Yaakov, he says, Send me Kiala Shachar, it's already morning. He says, what are you, a robber that you have to run away because it's morning? What's the big deal? It's morning, okay? Oi, Kobiustus, Kobiustus Rashi explains it's a, it's a, it's a kidnapper. Taisa says that it's a gambler. Whatever, either way, uh, people who don't want to be seen during the day. A gambler has debts, you know, he has to run away. So, so uh, either way, he says, what are you, are you a robber, you're, you're a kidnapper, you're a gambler, you have to, you have to run away just because it's day? You're afraid of, of mourning? No, I'm an angel. From the day I was born, my, my time did not come to say Shira at Achshav. Right? Right, so is it is it bad timing? Is coincidental bad timing that he has to go now? Or it's, it's, right, the Adrava. Exactly. Right, right. That's say Shira. Like right now, he just had to fulfill his old Tachlas, and therefore now it's his time to sing. Right, so that's what uh, I like that shot. Right, okay. Um, okay, you're saying, oh, so you're saying what, so it couldn't have been his only tachlis. I mean, you have to, what the story symbolizes, the fact that he hit Yaakov, and maybe Esau's whole tachlis just hit Yaakov, right? <laughs> right, right, exactly, okay, so, um, so he said I had to go. Now, Messiah, this idea that the Malachim say Shira, or... Um, is is a proof to Rav Hanan al Amrav. Don't Rav Hanan Amrav. Shalosh kitas from Achle Asharis. There are three um, groups of malachim uh, that say Oy Mashira b'Chol Yer. Achas Amrav is Kadosh. The Achas Amrav is Kadosh. The Achas Amrav is Kadosh Hashem Tzavokos. And that's the post. The Kadosh Kadosh Hashem Tzavokos. Right. Um, um, okay. So the proof from here, Rashi or uh, Tosis explains, it's not such. It's just like they say Shira, right? But but um, now the Gemara is going to ask. It sounds like from Rav Hanan that they only they don't say. Okay, we'll, we'll see the catch. Macy, it's uh, the rice regarding the Malach. Chavivin Yisrael, if not Kodesh Baruch Hu, Yosef and Malach Asheris. Yisrael beloved in front of Hashem more than Malachim. She Yisrael and Rishir B'Kol Sha. Yisrael can always say Shira. Malach Asheris ain't Rishir Elo Pam Achas. They only say it once a day. Pam Achas Biyoyim. The Amri Law and some say Pam Achas B'Shabbos. Some say once a week. The Amri Law Pam Achas B'Chodesh once a month. The Amri Law Pam Achas B'Shona once a year. The Amri Law Pam Achas B'Shavua once every Shemitah once every seven years. The army of Pamachas Biyovel once every um, fifty years. All right, the army of Pamachas Biyovel only once. Okay, once in their lifetime, I guess. The Israel Mezkir and Mezashem Achar Shtei Teres. Israel can even say um, uh, Hashem's name after just two words. All they have to say is Shema Israel. Shenem or Shenem Shema Israel. And then they say already Hashem Alekeinu Malachi Ashores. However, Malachi Ashores Ein Mezkir and Mezashem El Achar Gimel Tevus. Only after they say three tevis. Why? Because they have to say Kaddish, 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 and then they're allowed to say Hashem Tzavokas. Okay, so again, you see the Kali Yisrael is better, because they just have need two tevis. Then Malach HaSharis, I'm sure the Mala, and also Malach HaSharis cannot say Shira upstairs, that's Yom Yisrael L'mato, Shinema, Beron Yachad Koch Vevoiker. When the Koch Vevoiker, the morning stars, which is Yisrael, because Yisrael is Nimshal L'Koychavim, when they sing, Right, when it's Beron Yachad, Ron is singing. When, when, when the morning, when the Koych Veiboiker sing together, meaning Klal Yisrael say Shira, then Hodor Vayeriu Kol Benelim. Benelim are Malachim. The sons of um, Elohim are Malachim. That's the that's what they're called. So only after Klal Yisrael sings, then they're allowed to sing. Okay. Um, so in fact, now the Gemara's Kasha on Rabbi Hananel is is that Hananel said that once it's Kaddish, once it's Kaddish, and then the other says already Kaddish and Tzavokas. And now it sounds like they're not going to say Hashem's name unless you first say Kaddish, Kaddish, Kaddish. Right? 
And according to Hananel, the last group of Malachim just say Kodesh Hashem Tzavok, so without saying it three times. That's the Kasha. So the Gemara says, El Achazamer is Kodesh. No, so the way it works in the Brisa is the first one says Kodesh. The Achazamer is Kodesh, Kodesh. The Achazamer is Kodesh, Kodesh, Kodesh. It's a cumulative, a cumulative, right? Exactly. Achazamer is Kodesh, Kodesh, Kodesh Hashem Tzavok. In fact, the Gemara Vaika Baruch it says Baruch Kvoid Hashem Im Koimoi, right? We say, right? Uh, that's only two words, Baruch Kvoid Hashem, not three words, right? Baruch Kvoid, and then already Hashem. Without, it's two words. Right, it's the same thing. So the same thing like Israel. Where it says, Baruch Oifanim Hudamid. Don't don't be right from Oifanim. Oifanim are a type of Malachim which are closer, like they they're allowed to say. It, okay, um, right, exactly. Very very important angels. Vibayseim uh, came to see Avishu say Siyayif. Okay, the, the other approach is that once once Kaddish, Kaddish, Kaddish was said, so then then they could say hey, whatever they want. Then then they could go on and say Baruch Hashem again. It's all one continuation. It's not a new thing. They don't have to say three words again. Okay, Ad Kam Kum Zayal.